Hey everyone, what's up? I'm back with some more Fallout 4. Right now, I'm right here in Sanctuary. The settlement that I'm currently working on is coming together real nicely. But uh, we're coming towards the end of my mod list. So after only about three videos, we're almost to the end. I told you guys, like, I didn't even have a lot. I probably had around 20 or so. Some of the mods that I uh, first got when I first got the game. So it's like these Mass Effect armors and stuff. And uh, this is actually pretty cool because I made this setup. <laughs> it took me a few minutes to make, but uh, it came along really nicely. And it, it's a few Mass Effect mods that uh, I had looked up and I liked. And so I installed them. And uh, please excuse the fog. It's just been so foggy. And uh, it's been pretty annoying lately. So first up is the... Mass Effect 3 armor and weapon set. This mod comes with the N7 Valiant, the Carnifex, and the Predator. Now, it also comes with the Avenger as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. I was a little bit disappointed because it didn't come with the Typhoon or the uh, Valiant. I mean, not the Valiant, the uh, whatever the assault rifle is. It didn't come with that. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. And it comes with this armor. Oh, man. It's so beautiful. I love this thing. Uh, I put this on pretty much all of my guards and my settlements. If you guys watch my live streams, you probably already seen this mod. But uh, it's just really awesome. And um, I got it from that site that shall not be named. Surprisingly, it was not on Nexus. It's only on that site. And uh, sadly, I think it's been taken down. So this next mod is a power armor mod, and you guys know how I feel about my power armors. If you don't, I love them. I just, everything about them. I could just, just mod them, upgrade them, uh, paint them, wear them, just look at them. You know, it all gets me going, man. <laughs> and what do you know? The rain comes in. It's always rain or fog whenever I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> It's always so funny, man. Um, who cares? Whatever. Let's do this. Alright, so this mod is made by Dragon Scales 82 uh, Before before I talk about it, I'm going to say that he says that it's standalone, but it's really not standalone because it has its standalone paint job, but it will change the color of the power armor frame to this reddish color, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So whenever you try to wear a power armor that has like military green, you'll see this red underneath it and these red fingertip things and it just kind of looks bad. <laughs> and I wish I knew about that um, before I got deep into my playthroughs. But uh, other than that, it, it looks really cool. You have slight different options. You can remove this bear patch if you want and you could choose to have another N7 logo above the eye. I thought it looked really bad, so I just didn't even pick that one. Now, it's only over the X01 armor, sadly. and Because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that armor. But uh, I do like the texture of it. Uh, I'm loving how you put the stripe right here. And uh, the N7 and the stripe right here. And I actually like this bear uh, patch right here. Like I said, you can remove it if you want, but I decided to keep it. I thought it looked really nice. So uh, the paint job, you don't have to unlock it. As soon as you put an X01 near a power armor station and go 
to change your paint jobs it'll be there for you to change and it it gives no bonuses if you have all pieces painted sadly okay so i got my character dressed quite appropriately today she's in her adam cats outfit and she has the welding goggles on because i've been you know doing a lot of power armor work lately but uh that doesn't mean there's not gonna be any slootiness in this video and uh you can see behind me that uh there's this mod called ds flags and two of the flags in there had these uh n7 flags so i decided to include them in this video now the other flags <laughs> were a bit uh too too risky so i just i decided not to show them maybe i'll show them again in another video but i don't want to risk this one getting in trouble so as you can see uh this one has a puerto rican flag and i believe this is quiet from metal gear and there's an n7 logo right there so i thought it qualified for this video and this one qualifies for sure so yeah, that's it. Just a short video, uh, a simple mods. Um, pretty much the end of my mod list. Probably like one more video, and that's gonna be it. Probably like a total of five videos. Uh, see, so it wasn't really that much. Uh, got my Nuka Cola machine right here. Uh, I think the thing that I was excited for the most in this video was this little setup that I made. It took me about ten minutes to make. Uh, I just wanna show this off real quick. You know, this weather really sucks. It's been raining for three days straight. I'm waiting for a sunny day, and it just doesn't want to give it to me. Uh, I've been sitting on a couch <laughs> for three days, and the rain will not stop. So here is the N7 armor, the power frame, the power armor frame, and uh, as you can see, it changes the color red. This is the only thing that I didn't like about the mod. So if you wear something like military green, it's just not going to look too good with this. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you guys later. Take care.